warmth to the area. And as you can see here, there are several types of inflammation of the joints and joint disorders, anywhere stemming from what most people think of when they think of arthritis, which is osteoarthritis, but you can have rheumatoid arthritis, you can have gout, you can have lupus, which leads to arthritis, you can have psoriasis that leads to arthritis. So your arthritis can come about because of sepsis or infection. It could be an autoimmune disease like lupus or psoriasis. It could be joint trauma based on your job or occupation or sports injuries. Regardless of whatever it is, um, it is inflammation of the joints, right? Whatever caused it, now you've got inflammation of the joints. And the symptoms are going to be anything from pain, stiffness, warmth, swelling. Now, here's something that is going to drive you guys crazy, but hopefully you'll be able to understand it. So arthritis is inflammation of the joints, okay? But they are classified based on inflammatory or non-inflammatory joint disease. So either way, you have inflammation of the joint. But when you're thinking about your joint disease, you have to think about how did the disease come about? Did it come about because of an inflammatory reaction or did it come about due to the fact that there was wear and tear that led to inflammation? So when you've got a non-inflammatory joint disease, you typically have a joint disease that's caused by wear and tear. And due to the wear and tear, inflammation sets in. When you have an inflammatory joint disease, you have some type of inflammatory process that leads to the disease being joined, the joint being diseased. So here's a good example. Osteoarthritis is a non-inflammatory joint disease. It comes about because of wear and tear that leads to inflammation. An inflammatory joint disease would be like rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis comes about because you have some type of inflammatory response that goes haywire, it attacks your joints, and now you have inflammatory joint disease as a result of that. So when you differentiate between a non-inflammatory joint disease and an inflammatory joint disease, remember, they both result in inflammation. However, one causes systemic signs and symptoms. So if you have an inflammatory joint disease, you're probably going to have systemic signs and symptoms because typically when your immune system launches an attack, it launches an attack on more than one place. When you have a non-inflammatory joint disease like osteoarthritis, wear and tear happens in a particular joint. So that inflammation is localized to that one joint or those particular joints, okay? Another thing that you would notice when you're comparing inflammatory versus non-inflammatory joint diseases is whether or not there is inflammation of the synovial membrane. And also, when do you have the pain? In an inflammatory joint disease, you tend to have pain when the joint is resting. In a non-inflammatory joint disease, you tend to have pain when you're using the joint, right? Another thing that you'll notice is you'll do synovial fluid analysis. In a non-inflammatory joint disease, your inflammatory white blood cells are low compared to those that are inflammatory joint disease. So when you've got something like osteoarthritis and they take synovial fluid and analyze it, you usually have less than 2,000 wet, red, white blood cells per millimeter cube when you analyze it. But something like inflammatory joint disease, like rheumatoid arthritis, um, lupus, gout, you're probably going to see inflammatory cells that are greater in number than 2,000 white blood cells per millimeter cube. And then if you're Arthritis is caused by infection and it's septic infection. You're going to see over 100,000 white blood cells per millimeter cube. So inflammatory joint disease, right? There is usually pain and rest, Shannon. So like if you've got rheumatoid arthritis, when you're resting the joint, it's going to be painful. And when you're moving the joint, it doesn't hurt as badly. But when you've got something like osteoarthritis, when you move the joint, there's pain.